Martin is one of the nicest boys in our town. He's one of the cleanest boys, too. Billy always has been a nice boy. But he hasn't always been so clean. As a matter of fact, for a long time, Billy's parents worried about him. They didn't worry just because Billy got dirt on his hands and face. No, the small animal mutilations were their biggest concern. They knew that a boy is bound to get dirty when he's playing cowboy and runs into a bandit down by the corral. Billy's best friend, Posty. Billy's parents did worry because he was so careless about washing when he should have washed. He had to be reminded almost every time. And even then, he didn't do a very good job. That's your son. The trouble was, Billy had the wrong idea about being clean. Wash, wash, wash. They just want me to be a sissy. But then, one night, Billy had a dream. At least, I guess it was a dream. Let's just say Billy's mom had some extra laundry to do the next day. But you're wrong, Billy. It's not sissy to be clean. Who said that? Who's there? I did. One of your best friends. Soapy, what are you doing here? I didn't drop acid today. Soapy's the name, partner. Why, you're a living cake of soap. Big as life, Billy. And I'm here to help you. I can help you, partner. But I don't quite understand. That's just the trouble. Billy, so you're a moron. So many boys and girls don't understand what a good friend I can be. So I'd like to show you. May I? Why, yes, I do. Well then, just lie down and close your eyes. That's right. You won't remember what happens next for at least another 30 years. Let's see. Why, I see a cowboy. He's washing up. That's right. There's nothing sissy about that cowboy, is there? Nope. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a gay cowboy. He rides wild horses. Billy, do you like movies about gladiators? Well, Billy, you and I must tame animals more dangerous than bucking broncos. I help you control animals that could make you sick. Now, close your eyes again, and I'll show you. The animals I help you control are called disease germs. They are so tiny you can't see them, except with a microscope, like this man is using. Disease germs are dangerous ah. because they make you sick if too many of them get inside of you. I'm afraid it's minesweeper syndrome. Almost anything that children touch or handle, even on things that look clean. Like your sister, your welfare check, your pathetic toy seaplane, even that girl at the lemonade stand. If you get disease germs on your hands and then put your hands in your eyes or in your mouth, those disease germs can get inside of you. What the hell did I eat? But you and I can kill most of the germs on your hands so they can't make you sick. If we work as partners, so be a germ fighter with me. Learn good hand habits. Boys and girls should wash their hands often, especially at certain times. Wash your hands before doing anything that has to do with food. Before handling food in the kitchen. Before setting the table. Before drowning your little brother in the kitchen sink. Before your picnic of bananas and milk. And always remember to wash your hands before brushing your teeth. Wash your hands after doing anything that gets them very dirty. After playing totally non-sissy games with your friends, like Jack's, semi-nude football, and whatever this is. After, After a day shift at games. the construction site. After playing with animals.
and especially after going to the toilet. You and I can be partners in other clean habits, Billy. We Most of those ways will involve me filming you while taking a bath. And of course you should take a bath or shower each time you've been working or playing hard, not just on Saturday night. When you might get lucky. You should wash your hair often. Boys can do it easily, each time they take a bath or shower. Girls should wash their hair at least once every two weeks. You? You can see, Billy, that I am your partner. But you have other health friends. Like shampooy and bleachy. Every community has a health department, just as it has a fire department and a police department. And one of your best friends is the health officer. He's a germ fighter. My name too. is Friday. I carry a badge. Health officers fight germs in many ways. They know how to look for germs. This health officer is testing a drinking glass from your school cafeteria. And now a health officer checks the cafeteria windows to be sure that flies can't get in. Meanwhile, flies the lunch ladies are sneezing in your meatloaf, feet. cooking your chicken nuggets to 150 health degrees, and scooping the rat droppings off your peach cobbler. Cows are clean and healthy, so their milk will not have germs. Who is this Louis Pasteur everyone keeps yammering Another about? Health officer, the meat inspector. Make sure that meat is clean and safe. The mark shows that this meat is clean. Well, except for that giant stamp but health officers and the E. coli. For you. you must be your own health officer. Go, Billy, and inspect your own side and of beef. Germs can get inside of you through your mouth. So never put anything be in your sure mouth. that food is clean before you eat it. Be sure that dishes are clean before you use them for food. Mom, that is filthy. Never take a bite from someone else's food. That's right. Put your dirty Put hands all over it instead. To share your cookie. And keep food covered, safe from flies when you eat outside. Remember, flies carry dangerous germs on their feet. Yeah, flies and Puerto Ricans. When you drink from a glass, be sure that it is clean. It's a good idea to have your own drinking glass. When you drink at a fountain, keep your mouth away from the nozzle. Jimmy, stop Frenching the water fountain. And there's one more important thing, Billy. Your clothes. Lose them. You know, a cowboy wears working clothes when he's out on the range because he gets dusty and dirty. But when he's ready to go into town, after I've helped him wash up, he puts on his clean clothes. He's got a date with Tom. I mean, Beulah. Children get dusty and dirty when they play games. You should wear old clothes when you play. But when you're through playing, when you clean up for dinner, you should change to clean clothes. Billy's got a date with his family. You see, Billy, being clean in every way is an important part of being healthy. And being healthy is an important part of being happy. I see that now, Soapy. You are a good friend and partner. That's right. Well, so long. So long, partner, and don't forget. I won't, Soapy. And Billy didn't forget. He's one of the cleanest boys in our town now. Why are you constantly spying he's on me in the, the bath, disembodied voice? And certainly, he's one of the happiest. Mm -hmm.